We get so many questions here at the Malt Miller that regard pumps. Now we've been selling various different pumps for years. They're a brilliant addition to a simple one pot brewery or an essential addition in a horizontal three vessel system. So we really need to know about pumps. Most of the pumps that we're using are magnetically coupled. So there's a few things that we need to consider when we're using pumps. Now, the main one is they hate being run dry. And you can normally tell if they are being run dry because they absolutely screech like crazy and it's doing quite a lot of damage actually to the pump. And you can actually completely ruin a pump by running it dry. So there's some considerations to make sure that that doesn't happen. When we're using a pump, we always have the inlet of the pump. It doesn't matter what the design is, but the inlet of the pump always is at the bottom or it's below the outlet. Now that's for a really good reason. When liquid enters the pump, it pushes the air that will be in the pump already out so that the pump can prime. So number one thing is don't run a pump dry and prime it properly by running liquid in through the lower port and out through the higher port. To make sure the pump is primed properly, we need the inlet to be lower than the vessel delivering the liquid, which is normally the kettle or the hot liquor ton. So the pump would need to be below the vessel where you're receiving the water from or where the pump's receiving the water from. Another consideration is to being able to throttle the pump. Now, because the pump doesn't like being run dry, we don't recommend throttling the liquid going into the pump. If you need to slow the pump down, it needs to be throttled back on the outlet. That way, the pump stays full of liquid and it will just spin round and round and round with the liquid that's in there. Now, we can use this pump in various different ways within the brew house. And one pump can serve many different purposes during the same brew. So, during mash, we can drop the mash liquor out of the bottom of the mash tun into the inlet of the pump, and then we can pump it back out of the outlet of the pump, back into a recirculation port in the mash tun. Now it's handy if that recirculation port has a ball valve on it so that we can turn it on and off. It can also be used in the boil kettle at whirlpool time. So it's a similar thing that we're doing. We are dropping the wort from the valve at the bottom of the kettle into the inlet of the pump, pump it back out of the outlet of the pump, back to the whirlpool port on the kettle. You'll find that doing this will massively increase hop utilization. And also if you're using an immersion chiller, it massively speeds up the speed at which the wort chills because you're moving the wort over the chiller the whole time. So you can use the pump instead of standing there and stirring it. Now this is our Maltmiller branded pump. It comes with a stainless steel head and actually we supply it with a spare impeller. And now it's normally the impeller that, that breaks down if you run the pump dry. So just in case that happens, we actually sell this with a spare impeller. It's dead easy to change. You just take the, take the head off and, and the impeller comes out really easy, just lifts out and just pop the new one in. We also send this with the stainless steel hose barbs that match our platinum cured silicon tubing, the 12 mil internal diameter tubing that we sell. These hose barbs work absolutely perfectly with this pump. They can be swapped out for cam locks if you prefer. Actually, personally, I prefer just to use it with the hose barbs. It's nice and simple. Now we do sell other pumps. We have a March May, and that's a purpose May brewing pump. And we also have the Riptide pump from Blickman. In use, although the Riptide pump from Blickman's got many features on it, actually in use, sometimes we find simple is better. And actually these pumps are really powerful. As long as we are throttling back the outlet so that we can measure the flow, um, these are a really good pump for any brewing system. Hopefully that's answered all the questions you could have about a pump that we sell here at Maltmiller. If not, don't hesitate, contact us, pick up the phone, drop an email, and we'll get it answered. Oh,